Hello everyone, this is Scott Hewitt with Butterware. Today what we're, we're going to discuss is, or what I'm going to go over, is how to build a QR code for downloading a mobile app. A lot of practical applications for uh, QR codes these days, uh, which I'm going to cover a little bit, but uh, today what I want to discuss is how can you build a QR code that allows for a smartphone user to either download a mobile app on either the Android Marketplace or the Apple iStore. So let's jump into it. First, we're going to this is going to be our agenda, but first what we're going to cover is really what is a QR code. It stands for a quick response code and uh, some practical applications. Some of you might already know what this is. Some of you don't. I just want to kind of get everybody on the same page. Second, we're going to build a QR code for downloading a mobile app. Really simple. Uh, there's only one website you're going to have to write down. I'll put it in the notes at the bottom. Uh, and we're going to give an example, a, a, a practical example of how one of my clients is using this so their customers can download a mobile app. So, what is a QR code? Here on the right here, this is an example of a QR code. It really just looks like static on TV. Smartphones these days, of course, uh, having cameras built in, you can download software that reads the QR code and once it's read, it can actually tell the phone to perform functions and examples of these functions are let's say a real estate agent wants to embed his entire company and contact information into a QR code so when somebody scans the code it takes all of his personal and business information and creates a contact inside of a phone super cool uh, links to websites like Facebook and Twitter and information I was at the gym uh, last week and while walking in I saw this new sticker on the door which I hadn't seen before but it showed a little QR code and it says uh, it, you know change the routines with the season and I scanned the code and once I scanned it took a picture of my phone um, and I was linked over to a 24-hour website which played a video and this is just, these are just great ideas it, it played a video about you know changing your routine uh, and using you know different cardio machines so you know this is one example other examples are magazine advertisements if you're doing any kind of advertisements in magazines generate a QR code that links to a web page that has more information therefore you don't have to spend money on a bigger ad which is really smart because um, you know real estate on a magazine costs money and if you have a QR code that might link to one of your new products or some more of your services where they can get more information you don't have to pay for it on a, on a magazine uh, it's a great way to uh, you know save some money while getting you know better results out of your advertising clothing labels um, I saw some shoes the other day. It had a QR. I scanned it and linked over, and it, it was an actual infomercial about the shoe. It was amazing. So people are really getting savvy to this stuff. Foods. Uh, a lot of foods these days, people want to know where they're made or uh, where they're grown and what's in them. So it can link to information about that stuff. Presentations, very similar to the clothing label. Um, you know, you scan it, and it'll go to a webinar, per se, or some type of uh, you know video on the product itself. And lastly, for the sake, well, there's, there's all kinds of other ones, but these are just kind of the, some of the, the practical ones that I've read about um, and the most popular. But for the sake of this demonstration is really downloading uh, an application. So telling the phone to go to a website so somebody can download an application. And it's really, really simple. Now, just to kind of give you a little bit of uh, background on why uh, I wanted to teach this because I, was, I, was, I wasn't finding information online and once I found it, I just wanted to teach it. So uh, one of my clients is a restaurant owner. He was very envious of one of his competitors that has a mobile app for his restaurant. And uh, a few things. One, he wanted me to outdo him, which I did. And then secondly, he wanted me to uh, go to – he wanted to really advertise about his mobile app. And he said, look, he's got a sticker on his door. I want you to go check it out. So I took a look at it. And I'm going, this is awesome. And the guy's got a sticker on his door. He says he has a, a mobile app. But I kind of wanted to go a little bit further. I wanted to actually – give somebody the tools so they can scan a QR code it will link them right to his app so they don't have to go looking for it and they can download it right there so uh, that's why I did this and I'm gonna kinda walk you through uh, the steps so uh, jumping over to um, my browser here first once you 
submit the app and it's approved on Apple and Android. Uh, all you need to do is go look for it. So I'm going to use Angry Birds as an example here because everybody knows about Angry Birds. I'm going to choose Angry Birds. I'm going to press go. It's really this simple. All you have to do is go to the uh, actual page for the mobile app uh, on the Android or the Apple iStore. You copy the URL and then you go to a special website which I want you to write this down. Uh, it's called uh, Be Curious. I hope I pronounced that right, but B-E-Q-R-I-O-U-S. You hit the generator, and here it allows you to generate all different types of uh, QR codes. It's really simple. Uh, I'm going to do the, the URL in a little bit, but for example, I gave you the example of the V card. If I put in all of my personal and business information, I press generate code, it'll generate a code that embeds all of my personal information into that QR code. So uh, for the sake of this one, you just want to do a web URL. Remember, we got the URL for Angry Birds for the marketplace. I paste it in here. I say generate code, and it generates the QR code. So I copy the QR code, and then uh, I'm building the, the decal in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm just, for the sake of this uh, demonstration, now that I copied it, I just paste it in here. Here's the QR code for the Android uh, marketplace link. I'll just plop it right in. Oops, plop it right in here. Just kind of size it right and put it right under there and then I want to do the exact same thing for Apple so I go to the Apple iStore and I say okay I want to do uh, Angry Birds I choose Angry Birds I click now I'm here I copy the URL I go back to the um, QR generator I paste the URL I hope I'm not going too fast here but real simple I paste the URL in here I say generate code I copy the image I go back to my decal, I paste this one, I size it just right. I kind of want it very similar to this size here. Um, just kind of size it up just like about like that. Put it right under the iPhone here. And now when somebody walks up to the restaurant, either with an iPhone or an Android, it says available now on App Store and Android Market. If they have an Android, they'll scan the Android. QR code if they have an iPhone they scan the iPhone and it links ports right over to the page where you can download the mobile app for the business super cool um, and uh, this again would be the the end result if you have any questions uh, go ahead and uh, message me below I'm gonna be posting more videos uh, about a lot of similar stuff because uh, mobile apps is really kind of where things are going real exciting uh, and I just want to share some of the stuff that I'm, I'm uh, doing for other clients and uh, hope it benefits you again uh, have any questions and just go ahead and uh, put them down below I'll get back to you as quick as I can thank you so much for your time bye bye